Hello and welcome back everybody, it's Lloyd from Blackpool Air Rifles here. I've got a couple of rifles to show you today. Uh, we've got the Lee Enfield CO2 powered BB repeater that everybody's been waiting for for about, I think it's two years, it feels like feels like two centuries to be honest with you. But I've also got a, a new Stoger rifle and um, we've done really well with Stogers this year, surprisingly well actually, they, they've been, they've been a, a really reliable rifle uh the the distributor's really good which is uh, gmk uh excellent after sales service uh, i've been looking for a new junior rifle for a while to sort of fill the gap because unfortunately a lot of junior rifles aren't particularly suitable for juniors i know that sounds quite weird but what tends to happen is people make junior rifles down to a price they try to cut corners as much as possible and unfortunately this leads to things like really bad trigger units and, and I know that it doesn't seem that important but for a junior a good trigger unit is as important as anything in fact it's more important possibly than, than a, a good trigger unit for an adult rifle because at the end of the day if they can't use the trigger unit and they struggle with it they're not going to have that much fun they're not going to be able to hit stuff you know and, and you've got to remember that juniors are generally weaker than adults so the trigger unit is quite important so um, what I'm saying is, is that if you can afford it, go for something like a HW30, which is a fantastic junior rifle, but it is very expensive. You know, 30s, uh, 30s are around about the 210 pounds, something like that. You know, if you feel that your junior is going to get into the sport and is going to love it, then yeah, invest that sort of money, and he'll, he'll really appreciate it. But if you don't want to spend that, um, it becomes more difficult because, like I say, a lot of junior rifles aren't particularly good quality. So we were quite chuffed with the uh, with the new Stogers, which is the X3 Tac. Now I'm not going to say that this trigger unit is as good as a as a Virac because it simply isn't, um, and I haven't come across any junior rifle under the price of a Virac that is as good as a Virac. But I tell you what, these are they're about 79 pounds. Uh, very very lightweight, uh, really nice safety catch on the back, so easy to operate. And the trigger, although has got a little bit of creep to start off with, actually when we've been testing these out, we found that there is a point where you know that the gun is going to fire. So there is uh, a, a, a point on the unit that becomes uh, consistent shot to shot. So and I think that's going to be quite important. Also as well, fibre optic sights on it. And, and do you know what, actually, the, the finish on the blue in is absolutely superb. So if you're into, uh, you know, if you want to get a junior started, go for the Varic HW30 and if you don't, have a look at the, uh, the Stoger X3 uh, tank, which I think is a lovely looking rifle and I think any junior would be really happy to receive that for this Christmas. And at under 80 quid, I don't, you just can't go wrong. So we're stocking those now, okay? Um, I'm not going to talk too much more about that because I'm sure everybody's here to, to, to see um, the new Lee Enfield. Now, We've all been waiting for these for a couple of years. Uh, it's it's something that I've been really excited about. So let, let's let's get into it. Um, it is a BB. That by the way, like, let's get the box over with. As you can see, it's got a nice box, and this is the same company that actually did the uh, the Mauser and the Mosin the Gant M1944. So we've already had. Uh, models of rifle from this manufacturer that are proven really reliable and really popular and really well well finished so so that's a good start box doesn't really have much in it you can see it's got a nice little uh, picture on the front it's got some information on the side but when you open it apart from the gun you've basically got um, a little instruction manual there user instruction manual and you've got an allen key which I'll come to in a second this isn't going to be an in-depth review because that's really not what we're about here. There's going to be other guys like Andy's Airgun Review that does a really good job of doing stuff in detail. So I'm going to leave that to, to Andy to do um, a better job um, as in uh, going into detail. But what we've got, as you can see, um, you've got a really nice SMLE replica. It takes um, CO2 bulbs, single shot, the 12 gram style, the small one which will give you around about 30 shots um, per, per bulb. All this is um, metal, uh, metal, metal, uh, f adjustable sights. You've got a proper, this is a wood stock. And this is actually one of the reasons why there was uh, a part of the delay for the rifle coming to us. Because when we saw the original prototypes, the quality of the wood was crap. 
It really was. And I think quite a few dealers, us included, went back uh, to the importer and said, look, it's, it's just, you know, it's not good enough. We've got one chance at this. We want it better. So I think they went back to the drawing board on that. They also actually spent quite a lot of time actually redeveloping the, uh, the valve system because they wanted more power out of it. And that does seem to have happened. Although, don't get me wrong, this is not, it's not a full power rifle. I would imagine you're probably going to get around about six foot pounds out of it. I haven't had time to chronograph it, but I have been shooting it and I've been really enjoying it. But it's a back garden plinker that actually could look fantastic on somebody's wall. You know, you might have a sentimental thing about the Enfields or you might just want to have one in your collection. And I think really overall they've done a, a really nice job. I mean, from the back to the front, you've got this sort of four brass looking metal uh, butt pad and you've actually got the little uh, catch there where originally I think there was a uh, cleaning kit now sadly this doesn't come with it but uh, I, I guess if you wanted to be pedantic and, and have everything absolutely perfect you could probably buy yourself a cleaning kit and put that in the back you've got um, swivels now the sling is an extra um, these are around about 18 pounds but I thought I would put the sling on just to show you what it's like and do I apologise for the phone in the background, it's a working shop. Um, but you can see that the uh, it's a canvas sling um, that does clip straight on. You've got uh, the bolt action, which actually does work, which is lovely. It doesn't, it's not a full throw bolt action, it comes back to there, as you can see. So it's quite a, it's quite a short throw, which is actually nice because when you're shooting it, um, it's quicker to operate and there's less wobble and slack, so it's, it's, it's a nice precise movement. So you basically, you're just cocking it back, you're closing it up and that's ready to fire. You've got a safety catch on the side there, as you can see. So the safety catch can come back, that can be put on when it's cocked. Uh, so you take the safety catch off. You can also decock this rifle, um, so you lift the bolt out and then basically you press the trigger and you push the bolt forward like so. Now the magazine itself has got the release here, so what you do is you cock the gun first you press the button inside the trigger guard and then that releases the magazine. <laughs> we've been practicing off camera because we've not been very good at this. There is a little release there, you press, you press something in it there, I, I haven't got nails, and you know, oh there we go, we did it, finally. So that releases the side of the magazine, that comes off, CO2 bulb goes in, Allen key screws it up and punches it, and then you put that back on by sliding, this is, this, is this going to work? There we go. That slides it back on, okay, once, once you've done that. And that's the, uh, that's the CO2 filled. And then on the other side, hopefully you'll be able to see that there is a little spring. Uh, you pull the lever down and clip it to the side and then you load the BBs in. We've found it'll take about 15. Uh, it's like a sort of uh, double stack magazine. So it'll take 15 shots. Once you've actually loaded the BBs in, it's just a simple case of clipping it in and you can see I'm actually putting the magazine with it lifted like that angle and then that actually clips into place and that's that's ready to go. Uh, gun itself is uh, just over eight pounds which is 3.7 kilograms which means it's roughly about the same as an original and also as well uh, according to the box you can get original accessories on it including obviously you can see the sling that we've talked about but also a bayonet. Uh, not really that convinced you should really be putting the bayonet on it, but I guess if you you want realism, you want it to look good, then fair enough. Um, but that those are available and those take standard accessories. Price on this is £399, and overall I would say, do you know what, uh, is it worth the wait? I, it's been a long wait, it's been two years. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's not it's been worth waiting two years for, but I tell you what, I think they've done a fantastic job of it, it looks great. And we've already had quite a lot of people in the shop and it sort of it seems to bring back memories for a lot of people and it's a, it's a very iconic uh, gun so I, I, I really like it. Uh, £399 obviously isn't particularly cheap but it is wood, it is metal um, and overall I, like I say I think that's fantastic and I'll be picking myself one up of these because I've always wanted uh, an Enfield uh, for my collection because I collect airsoft stuff as well. Um, and in the airsoft range, I've never been able to get hold of a Lee Enfield, so this will this will fill a little spot in the collection, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've got these in stock now. We have not got an awful lot, and like I said, the initial price is three ninety nine, but we've been told by the importers that the price will actually go up after the initial batch has been sold. 
Uh, I don't know what two, I think they were talking roughly about £30, £40, whether it'll happen or not, I really don't know, but at £3.99, like I said, I think, it's a, I think it's a lovely, lovely looking rifle. So like I said, we've got those in stock now. Um, we've got lots of other uh, second hand, uh, we've, we've increased a lot in the second hand recently, so we're just actually updating the second hand website, uh, second hand uh, section on the website to, today. And I might as well tell you that uh, um, since it's close to Christmas, um, we will be closed in between uh, Christmas Eve and I think it's the 3rd of January. We're going to take a, a, a longish break this year, so uh, I hope people appreciate it. It's because we do not get time to take time off during the year anymore because there's only two of us. So we're taking advantage of the Christmas break and having a little bit longer for myself and Sean. Uh, thank you very much for supporting us over the year, we've really appreciated it. We've had a bit of a tough year as we said in the previous video, but we've come out of it the other side, you know, we're working on the website now, uh, we feel that we, we're in a great position, we're, uh, we've expanded on the second hand, we've got lots of new products in, and you'll see the website over the next probably coming months fill up with all the usual stuff and lots of new and interesting stuff. But at the moment, we're paying particular attention to getting all the second hand on the, on the website. So if you're into your second hand stuff, keep an eye on the website because that's uh, going to be updated every week. Right, well, I think that's about it for today. Short and sweet, as usual. Uh, like I said, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. It'd be nice if you shared it and uh, with other people who are interested in shooting. And uh, we'll see you all in the new year. Thank you very much for myself and Lloyd. Goodbye.